Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kerry and I'm a lover of all things makeup, skincare, fashion, all that kind of good stuff. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. It really does mean a lot to me. And if you're not new here, thank you for coming back. That does mean a lot to me too. I'm really sorry about the camera angle. Um, I've tried to angle you in a position where you can kind of see everything um that i'm going to be showing in today's video um but i've not got my table yet so i'm still kind of sat on a little stool so it's a little bit uncomfortable but hey ho it is what it is um just a quick thing i do have an eight month old she's currently napping in her pram so um, we've just come back from the park and she fell asleep so i just left her napping in the pram um a big sister's downstairs watching her please don't think that she's unattended because she's not but yeah so in today's video as i'm sure you can tell by the thumbnail and by the uh title i'm going to be opening up the let's face it boxes now these are the july boxes um i've ordered the august boxes so hopefully they will arrive in august this month i know they did have a little bit of an issue with suppliers last month um so shipping was delayed slightly um i did get in touch with them because i was a little bit like well where's my boxes but they were really quick came back to me really really fast um and then they emailed me to ask me if i was okay having the charlotte tilbury magic cream because there was out of the bb cream and i said yeah that was absolutely fine and then afterwards i thought but it's a bobby brown month so i was a little bit confused at that um but i don't know we'll see what's in these boxes um i will say though one box i did actually already open because it arrived and i don't know if you can see it's got like this oil stain on it um so i opened it to see what had split and something has it looks like some sort of liquid highlighter has split all over it so that has nothing to do with let's face it that is the postal service there's nothing that you can do about that so one thing that i do like that they've done this month though is if you can see so they've actually written on there so this one says the be confident box then one says fierce and flawless and then one says iconic so i'm glad that they've labeled them this month um so yes yeah, so just a quick thing about let's face it so they are a subscription service so you can either subscribe monthly three monthly six monthly or yearly i think if you subscribe yearly you do get some sort of a discount um the boxes vary in price so the be confident i think is 20 pound a month the fierce and flawless i think is 35 pound a month and the iconic is 45 pound a month um some months i get all three most months i get all three but some months i just get um the two higher end boxes they also do uh one-off boxes so you can get like letterbox gifts you can get um like special edition boxes they've also started doing a branded box they've started doing a birthday box um and then they do like special occasion boxes like they've done a valentine's one they've done a mother's day one and um, they did one for the jubilee so there's kind of something for everybody in there um so yeah so anyway guys if you're new here again thank you for stopping by it does mean a lot to me and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button thumbs up this video if you like this type of thing and also comment down below if there's any other um subscription box suggestions that you have got i feel like my top looks really wonky i don't know why um but yeah let me know down below in the comments if there's any other subscription boxes that you want me to unbox or even if it's just let's face it but it's one of the branded boxes because i'm not gonna lie i've got a couple of the branded boxes in my basket but I, I, i'm so indecisive about which one i want so if there's a specific branded box that you want to see let me know um and i'll see if i can get it um i'm not wearing my glasses today because it is so hot that my makeup's like literally kind of sliding off my face so um i didn't put my glasses on because i didn't want like make glasses marks in my makeup so if i'm squinting a bit in this video i'm really sorry um i've not yet got my contacts i'm going for them tomorrow so yes so anyway without waffling any further let's go ahead and get into the box so this first one is the be confident box as i said something in it has split i don't know what it was um so i'll just quickly show you inside the box so inside the box just looks like this um, so first thing that I can see on top, it's absolutely covered in whatever split. This is an avocado face mask and it says it soothes, heals skin and prevents skin damage. Um, I'm not bothered about it being covered in highlighter, I'm assuming, because I can just wipe that off. It's just a plastic cover. So that just looks like that. I need to be careful with this box because I don't know what kind of packaging that whatever's broken is in. 
So the next product that we've got in here is this little brush um, by Base Blue. Um, so it just comes in this little plastic wallet and it's got that highlighter stuff all over it. So I don't really want to touch it. So it just looks like this. It's just like a little travel size fluffy brush. Honestly, these brushes I probably won't ever get use from because they're just too small. Um, could be good for blush though, maybe. Um, yeah, maybe I'll use it, maybe I won't. I don't know. It's just so small of a brush that typically I just don't reach for this size brush. We've then got this, which is a Creations Brow Soap Activator. Um, so maybe we've got some brow soap in here. Again, it's absolutely covered in highlighter, but you can see that's what the bottle is supposed to look like. Um, doesn't really tell you how to use it, but I assume you just squirt it on your brow soap and it makes it wet. Um, so yeah, we've got that. We've then got a Too Faced Hangover Pillow, ba uh, pillow Balm Lip Treatment. Again, absolutely covered. Just one sec. <clears throat> I just grabbed a little makeup cloth. Right, so we've got the Too Faced Hangover Pillow Balm Lip Treatment and it's just a little travel size. So that just looks like that. I've never tried this. I don't know if it's an... Oh, it's a balm. It smells really good. Feels nice. Hopefully it's not very pink. It is a bit pink. Um, but yeah, obviously, typically, it tastes really good too. It tastes like bubblegum. Um, obviously, you would generally put this on. Oh, watermelon kiss. That's the scent, the flavour scent. Um, but yeah, so typically, you would put this on at night time. So I do quite like that. I'm just going to give this a wipe. So I've wiped that as best I can. And you can see that's what the bottle looks like. And that's the uh, activating balm, uh, activating stuff. We've then got, I'm going to assume this is what broke. This was by Mia and it's Glow Drops. Obviously, I can't really hold it up because it is dripping. So that's a glass bottle. So <clears throat> we're just going to get rid of that. I mean, by the looks of it, it was too dark for me anyway. We've got this nail polish. Which, oh, my days. I mean, it would have been a really pretty highlight, if you can see, but definitely would have been too dark for me. Oh my days, I've got this highlighter literally everywhere. That's the best I'm going to get that bottle, guys. So this is by Chit Chat. I've literally, like, that highlighter is everywhere now. So this is by Chit Chat, and it's in the shade Baby Pink. And just looks like that. It's quite a nice, fancy little bottle, actually. But that's still got a little bit of um, highlighter on it. I'll smash that as well. I'll just pop that up there. And then the last thing that we've got ugh, uh, is absolutely covered is this Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Oh, my days, it's so thick. Right, let me just get this cream out. Right, so the cream doesn't have any highlighter on it, thankfully. Um, I'm sure you all know what this looks like. It's just a little sample size. Um, so no Bobby Brown in this box. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I am a little bit disappointed with that because it did it was supposed to have one Bobby Brown item in it, um, which I think was supposed to be the face base, which honestly is the reason that I bought all three boxes because I think all three boxes were supposed to contain the face base, um, and that if you know if you've watched any of my videos you know that that's my favorite um primer ever like i absolutely love it um but yeah so no bobby brown in here so i'm a little bit disappointed um i'm also a little bit disappointed that that highlighter broke but that again that's nothing to do with let's face it that's the postal service so we can't do anything about that um i need to just wipe this off and then i can just throw the rest of that away so i'll get rid of that i need to make sure that i do that though because liliana does come up here and and play on the floor sometimes when i'm tidying my bedroom or putting my washing away or even filming videos so i need to make sure that i definitely definitely do that as soon as this video is finished 
so the next box up is the fierce and flawless and again they've just written it on the top just handwritten i love that they've done that because now at least we know which box is which and um, so hopefully we'll have some bobby brown in this one um because as i said it was bobby brown last month i'm happy with the charlotte's magic cream though and definitely the products that i did get definitely exceeded the 20 pounds so product wise value wise happy with that box no bobby brown i'm not so happy about that but i can get over that if there's bobby brown in these boxes okay so this is what the fierce and flawless box looks like so this one is 35 pound a month we've got some first thing that i can see on top we've got these olivia and allison lavender cleansing wipes um so these are for your face and your eyes um i don't know if these are makeup wipes or just general general cleansing wipes but i am going to use one of these because my hand is absolutely covered in that highlighter they actually don't smell that bad i don't really like the lavender scent but they actually really don't smell that bad so yeah so the first thing that we got is some cleansing wipes i don't typically use cleansing wipes anymore unless i'm just wiping the back of my hand but because i've got a baby i just use a baby wipe now um but for actual makeup removal i will use a cleansing balm and then go in with either an oil or a foaming face wash afterwards um and i do just use these reusable makeup cloths i think this one's by makeup revolution actually um we didn't get no perfume in that one either. I don't know if you're supposed to get a perfume in the Be Confident one. I know that I have in the past, but I don't know if on the list it says perfume. Um, but we didn't get one in there. So the next thing that we've got, we've got this Calvin Klein Obsession Eau de Parfum um, Mini. So that comes in a nice little box. So I suppose if you don't like this fragrance, you could pass that on as an extra little stocking stuffer or something at Christmas time. So let's give it a whiff. I don't know if I've smelt this one. Oh, it's a little bit too ambery for me. Is that one? It's a yeah. It's a little bit too masculine. I'll probably just pass that on to a friend. Honestly, I wonder actually if my partner might like that. It's a bit spicy. Um. It doesn't say like what the notes and everything are in it, but it's a pretty, pretty little box. It's just, it's, it is spicy. It's a spicy fragrance. And for me, I like sweet and floral fragrances, um, but happy to receive that. The next thing that we've got is this face, body, hair, beauty oil. Um, as face, skin, smoothing oil, hydrates, dry patches, and even skin, tan, and complexion. I don't know if that means skin tone and complexion. Um, improves skin elasticity and restores natural glow. Apply a few drops on clean face before your regular day or night cream. Massage gently into skin until absorption. Uh, number two, as a hydrating body oil, apply on clean skin all over the body and massage until well absorbed. Skin is left with a long lasting fresh citrus aroma. And then number three, as a nourishing hair oil, smooths messy hair, ends smooth messy messy hair ends softens dry hair and leaves it looking strong and shiny apply as a rinse off hair mask or on towel dried hair ends before blow drying and styling and that's by elfaya elfaya cosmetics so that's really pretty i don't want to open it because i've got a few oils open already at the moment and that i'm kind of working my way through so i'm not going to open that just yet We've then got, let's face it, thank you. So we've got this little tin. and Oh, it's got some little polos in. I haven't seen polos for years. Uh, but yeah, it's just got these little polos in it. And then it's just got this little sticker on that says, let's face it, thank you. That's really cute. I like that. Um, and then on the back, it says it's by the fa Favour Fairy. So yeah, that's quite cute. I quite like that. Nice little personal touch. We've then got this Winky Looks Glazed Lip in the shade Coffee Glaze. Um, so it's a little mini like gloss. I think I got this in full size, you know. Let me have a look. I have. So this is the full size. This is the mini. So I'll do a quick swatch on my hand of the one that I've already got because it's open. 
doesn't really look like much to be honest and then i can put this little mini into my makeup kit makeup if you've been watching my videos you'll know that i am going through a college course starting in september um to do makeup professionally so yeah i can pop that into my kit the next thing that we've got so we've got these devon wick we've had these before devon wick hand poured in devon um wax melt so this is in the scent crackling log fire feels like a christmas fragrance to me so don't really smell too strong honestly they're definitely melting though because it's so hot so they just look like a little chocolate bar we all know what a wax melt looks like honestly i need to buy a wax melt burner because these are mounting up now and um, they, they smell so good i just don't have a wax melt burner to to burn them so i'm gonna go to the range tomorrow actually i think i'll buy one then but yeah it smells nice it just doesn't smell strong but i don't mind that the next thing that we've got in here so we've got another charlotte's magic cream i'm not going to open it up i don't need to i've actually got so many of these now that i don't think I'd, i'll ever have to purchase a full size we've got some doll beauty lashes and these ones are exclusive for pretty little thing um it says make them stay so i don't know if that's the actual style of the lash um but they're really really pretty i don't know whether or not they're something i would wear i think they're maybe a little bit too big for me um but i do love a good doll beauty lash so and i also like pretty little thing lashes so yeah so we've got them we've then got this smoothie mask um i think we've had this before so this is a prebiotic normalizing mask and it's from the brand belinda by lender I'm not too sure so that just looks like that and it's avocado and kiwi and then the last thing that we've got in here so we do have a bobby brown item but it's not the face base um so this is a sparkle eyeshadow all right okay and it's in the shade sunlight six so we all know what the bobby brown packaging looks like and then the actual product itself oh that's really pretty actually just looks like this now how much use i will get out of this because it's a single shadow i honestly don't know but that is so pretty it's just there if you can see it i'll just do another quick swatch it's just there that's really pretty really really like that actually i don't know whether or not i'll keep that though or if i'll put that into my professional kit because it's a single shadow um but yeah so that is the fierce and flawless box i'm happy with the fierce and flawless box i'm happy with the products that we got um although i'm sure on the website it did say two bobby brown products maybe it said one i honestly can't remember and july is over now um so it won't say it anymore and then the last one that we've got is the iconic box now i'm not too sure whether or not um it's written on the box but on this one it's written just there on the bag if you can see um so the other two arrived on saturday this one arrived today today's tuesday so let's get into this one and have a look so a typical let's face it box the ribbons off this month i miss the, i miss the ribbons and then inside just looks like this so the first thing that i see so we've got two of these so these are the beauty pro retinal under eye patches um so they've got retinol vitamin c and aloe um i do like to have a good under eye mask what i like to do is once a week i like to get in the bath i do wash every day by the way but i shower but once a week i get in the bath and i'll put some under eye patches on i'll put some a lip patch on and then i'll put a full face mask on over the top and i'll just sit in the bath for about 15 to 20 minutes take them off just tap in the rest of the um solution what's it called the serum serum tap that into the rest of my face um and then i will let the plug out and then i'll get a shower and actually wash myself and everything so yeah so happy with them we've then got a face facts nighttime sheet mask so this is relax and soothe so it's enriched with chamomile flower and lavender extract and just in case you're wondering it is vegan so that just looks like that i've never heard of this brand before 
we've then got finally <laughs> we've got the vitamin enriched face base um so that just looks like that so this is just the 15 mil i just love the smell of it and this is literally just my favorite primer ever it just literally just smooths everything out just completely blanks everything i love it love 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 it we've got a nail polish we didn't get a nail polish in the fierce and flawless oh god so we've got a nail polish uh this is by collection um and this is in the shade watermelon six so that just looks like that's a nice coral well i guess watermelon shade for the spring so it's summer so i do like that we've then got one of these so plumped uh this is by italia deluxe i've received this before from let's face it um and honestly i gave it away um the only reason that i gave it away is just because i've got so many plumping glosses um that i just didn't think that i'd get around to using it um but because i've decluttered everything um i'll probably just keep this one but i'll just keep it to one side i can't use it on clients because it's plumping and i wouldn't ever want to put something on a client and they're allergic to it so i wouldn't put that on clients okay they're kind of making up for it because we got three bobby brown items in this one um so then we've got this beauty creations peach setting spray so that just looks like that it looks like it should be a perfume oh it smells so good that smells really nice I'm not gonna lie though the mist is not great um honestly i will probably use this though in the hot weather um without makeup because that felt really nice um but yeah the mist is just not for me but that just looks like that it reminds me of the so perfumes or the um impulse perfumes fragrances body fragrances we didn't get no we did get a perfume in the other one we've then got nina Richie perfume nina ricky i don't really know how you say them i've got this here i'm sure it's the same fragrance no this is a different one this is a different one it smells nice i do like that i really like that so yeah so we've got a little nina ricky nina Richie perfume so I really like that. We've then got, this is by Italia Deluxe and this is a Dew Gold Primer Oil. So this is Nourishing and Vitamin Enhanced Light Gold Shimmer. Um, and it, yeah, it's just a primer oil. Um, so that just looks like that. Do we shake it? I don't know, but that swirling looks so like satisfying, don't you think? let me just have a look it is really i mean it it's an oil so so if you can see there just running down my arm it does feel really oily i mean it's an oil it, it says it on the tin um but it's got no gold flecks in it i can't see any like glitter reflex or anything like that so yeah give that a go that looks quite nice so we've then got some more of the devon wick um Wax melts, same scent, crackling log fire. Um, we've then got another little, let's face it, tin with some more polos. Honestly, I've not seen polos in absolutely years. Um, but yeah, again, that just says let's face it on there. So that's cute. And then the last two um, Bobby Brown items that we've got. So let me just wipe my hand. I don't know what they are, but hopefully the lip products. So the first one that we've got is a Lux, a Lux Liquid Lip and this is one of the velvet matte ones and it's in the shade Blood Orange. So the outer packaging, again, I'm sure you all know Bobbi Brown packaging. And then the actual, oh, that's, that's very bright. The actual product itself just looks like this, but it's a, such a nice tone for the summer. I mean, the wand feels really good and the product itself just looks like that so that's really really nice i don't know whether or not i will keep that i've not kept many red lips but i might i don't know i might pass put that into my kit makeup i've only swatched it on my hand 
Um, and then we've got a nourishing lip colour and this is in the shade Italian Rose. Again, the packaging just looks like this. I do like the um, Bobbi Brown lipsticks. And then that's the shade there. So this looks really pretty. Oh yeah, I like that one. That's a little bit more of a wearable shade. So yeah, I really, really like that. And that is everything in the iconic box so i've got a few thoughts this month um box number one it did it definitely offered at least one bobby brown product we didn't get one so i'm a little bit disappointed in that um i'm disappointed that the highlighter broke but again that's the post that's nothing to do with let's face it so i'm not going to hold that against them um and I, I suppose at least it wasn't a colour that fits me. So, you know, there's always that. There's always a plus side. Um, we didn't get a perfume. I'm sure we always get a perfume in the Be Confident box. I could be wrong, though. But, um, yeah, we didn't get a perfume. In the Fierce and Flawless box, I'm sure it said that you were going to get two Bobbi Brown products. We only got one. Um, and we didn't get a nail polish. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not one to sit and paint my nails. So, I'm not massively concerned about not getting a nail polish however it is in the list that you do get a nail polish so i do kind of feel like there is a product missing um and then box three just completely like that that box was amazing you know we got three bobby brown products now maybe they put three into the iconic instead of two in the iconic and two infused and flawless I'm, i don't know um but yeah so i have got some thoughts this month well last month because these are july's boxes so i do have some thoughts um i'm overall i'm happy with all the products i you know i will use practically everything out of here there's maybe one or two bits that i won't use but most of it i will use um yeah i'm just i don't know i'm a little bit conflicted this month what do you guys think have you received the boxes this month and what did you receive were you happy overall with the products that you got or were you slightly disappointed did you expect a little bit more you know did you get more than what you expected um and yeah have you ordered the august boxes because the august box because let's face it if you don't know if you're new to the brand um they usually do like a themed box so we've had um a urban decay box we've had i think they did a charlotte tilbury box i personally missed that one i think that was like the first launch or something but they did um an urban decay they did obviously last month was bobby brown they've done iconic london um i can't remember all the brands that they've done they've, they've done a lot of brands um this month is just like a, a mixed brand so i'm assuming it's just kind of whatever they want to put in um so i'm excited for that um but yeah let me know down be down below what did you guys think um and again if this unboxing has been all over the place i'm really sorry it's so hot i've got liliana downstairs like snacking at the moment her sister's downstairs with her she's 13 so she's not unattended um but yeah i've got lillian downstairs liliana downstairs snacking i can hear her shouting um and yeah i'm just i need to get out of this room because it's just so so hot but yeah let me know down below guys and also as i said at the beginning don't forget to hit subscribe thumbs up if you like this kind of thing and don't forget to ring the bell so that you'll know when i've uploaded and yeah hopefully next time you see me I won't be as dishevelled and I will have a folding table and I won't be sat on the world's most uncomfortable little buffet. Um, and yeah, anyway, guys, that's it from me today. Thank you. Bye.